Hello everyone and a special welcome to the rookie and inexperienced First Tech Challenge teams. This video has been made for teams working with a Rev Starter Kit. The RoboRoos FRC team has built a demonstration robot to assist FTC teams that they have helped to start over the last few years. All those teams started with Rev Kits. The robot Hoppy has been built following the first robot building resource guides with a few modifications. Currently there is a part 2 for Tetrix but not for Rev. However the Skystone part 2 for Rev with mast and arm can be used for ultimate goal as Hoppy will demonstrate. In Autonomous, the robot can't determine the ring stack height and so will always deliver the wobble goal to the same square and then park. There's a third chance of 20 points and a 2 out of 3 chance of 5 points. In Teleop, Hoppy can put up to 4 rings into the low goal within 50 seconds and score 8 points. This allows 10 seconds for congestion and also to get ready with a ring to load straight onto the wobble goal as soon as the end game period starts. Once you build your robot it's very important that your drivers get practice. The drivers in this video only had 15 minutes practice before we started. In end game, loading two rings onto the wobble goal scores 10 points and then lifting the goal over the field perimeter and dropping it into the drop zone earns 20 points. So in this video, Hoppy has gained 43 points and if they got the right square in autonomous, then they got 58 points. In the remainder of this video, the setup for autonomous and the construction modifications will be explained. When moving the arm, it is also important to turn the middle gear by hand so as to avoid putting too much strain on the plastic gears. We are going to load the wobble goal onto the robot, but before we do that, we must position the arm so that the robot complies with the 18 inch height rule. The wobble goal can then be loaded. The top of the goal rests on the top edge of the robot side panel and also onto the wheel at the base of the ring grabber. Once in position, the goal grabber servo is closed and held in place with a small amount of tape. Once the autonomous program starts and is initialized, the goal grabber servo will close tight and hold the wobble goal securely. Both front and back wheels have been moved further in towards the center of the robot and this is to comply with the 18 inch length match rule for robots. An extrusion bar has been put across the front for extra protection and strength. The Rev Basic Bot Guide Part 2 suggests connecting the arm to the gear wheel with two bolts. It is possible to line up three holes and three bolts makes for a much stronger connection. Following the guide for spaces on the middle axle for the gears means that the wheels don't line up quite correctly and I think you'll probably find that you need an extra 3mm spacer on that middle axle, something to test by trial and error. 
for the motor mount and the mast supports it's a good idea to put more bolts in than the guide says because you want to hold those really securely. The guide indicates one traction wheel but I find that that slips and so you probably need to have two although if you have a new kit this year you will have a wider traction wheel. When using two wheels or a wider one you'll need to increase the axle length from what's suggested. In the photo there the orange bumper on the back has been made out of angle line to put more weight on the traction wheels. Often wheels slip on the foam floors. Even though this robot's a very simple one you'll have cables which will get tangled and so it's a good idea to neaten them up either with rubber bands or cable ties but cable ties do have sharp corners once they're cut bands are easy to remove by robot rules you must display your team number alliance marker power switch location and a warning of movement on initialization Hoppy is only a demonstration robot and so doesn't have a correct team number sides can be made out of anything suitable but plywood is cheap and strong and labels are easily applied with glue stick. Hoppy has been built with a control hub and so doesn't need a robot mounted phone. If you do need to place your robot controller phone on the robot, a good spot is near the mast support, the phone is protected and access is easy. The Wobble Gold Gripper and the Ring Gripper have been made by using rev servos and with metal horns and various pieces from the Maker Bracket series from the Big Hammer hardware stores. Cost is not much at all. The pre-drilled holes in those pieces are too large for M3 bolts and so some drilling is needed as a little cutting. Tech studies or a parent can probably help if the team is not able to manage those tasks. The Robo Roos hope all teams have a great season, learn lots and have plenty of fun. Good luck everyone. The Robo Roos thank all their sponsors, BAE Systems, the University of South Australia, the Adelaide Showgrounds, the University of Adelaide, Don Allen, ASC, the City of Unley, Appledyne, City of Port Adelaide and Enfield and Velex. Cheerio for now.